Today's question is, what is the placebo effect? Now first, let's start with the term placebo. A placebo is an inert ingredient used instead of a treatment. For example, a sugar pill instead of pain medication. And the placebo effect is an effect that occurs with a lot of different conditions, whereby this inert ingredient will cause improvement. It'll reduce pain symptoms, sometimes reduce depressive symptoms. We don't exactly know why this happens, but there are a few different reasons we think this occurs, why there is a placebo effect. One is focus. If you have somebody and you're treating them for a condition and you give them any type of medication or placebo, they're going to be more focused on the symptoms. We think that might be part of the reason we see this effect. Another area is learning. So we, over time, are given medication or other treatments and we learn, we're conditioned, that those treatments make us feel better. So even when taking a pill that has no active ingredient, that learning is taking place. Another element we see in the placebo effect is time. So somebody has symptoms of depression, anxiety, compulsive behavior, trouble sleeping, and they come in to receive treatment and they're given a placebo, it could be that just given enough time and they would improve. As a matter of fact, that's what we find oftentimes is that given enough time, a lot of conditions do improve. So the inert treatment is taking credit for the work that time did. Another element is we believe that individuals receiving a placebo are more likely to ignore symptoms. So they could be experiencing different symptoms, but they tend to ignore them because they're taking the placebo. It's also important to note that there's another effect called the nocebo effect, meaning that it's not just positive outcomes that can, that can be experienced from using a placebo. An individual can have an increase in symptoms using a placebo. So with symptoms decreasing because of a placebo effect, we're not sure if that's a change in interpretation or an actual reduction in the sensation. And there's evidence to suggest that both could be true. There are studies done on the brain that show that the, with pain relief, that the brain releases chemicals that relieve pain when a placebo is introduced. So it's not just ignoring symptoms or a positive expectation. It could be that in the case of pain, for example, the placebo is actually causing reduction in pain because of the way the brain is reacting, because the brain is releasing chemicals that relieve pain. It's also important to note with this effect that a positive expectation is not required for a placebo effect to occur. There are individuals that go into treatment, that have been treated for a certain disorder for a long time, and they're in a research study, they're given a placebo, they have no expectation that they're going to improve, and they still report improvement. The nature of the placebo has been found to be important as well. I find this particularly fascinating. The color of the pill, we're, again we're talking about placebo strictly in terms of like a sugar pill or some other inert ingredient. The color of the pill has been shown to be important and how many times a person takes the placebo in a day is important. And generally the finding has been that the more times a patient takes a placebo in a day, the more relief that they report. I hope you found this description of the placebo effect to be interesting. Thanks for watching.